Hello, and thank you for choosing NAPCO. In this brief video tutorial, we're going to discuss how to change your password for iBridge Online Connected Home Services, and also how to change your user ID and password uh, from the default uh, username and password that was emailed to you. Uh, so when you do set up a new account on um, iBridge on, uh, on the ComNet site and you activate your iBridge account, you will receive an email uh, to you as the dealer with a temporary username and password. Uh, so at this point, we're going to be logging in with the uh, username and password provided to us in that email. In this case, uh, I'm just using standard iBridge. So we would log in as the uh, user at this point and right at the top of the site here says change password so if you're going to keep the user id for the customer you would just hit change password and you would put in the old password and the you would enter in your new password and then you would hit submit here and your password has been changed so this one is very important uh, again the default password should be changed uh, you should not leave that as the default. And if you want to change the user ID, you would click on the user management, click on account, and you will scroll down here and you're going to see the user ID uh, that we logged in with, which was created by the uh, comment site. So at this particular point, uh, if we were looking to change this user ID, uh, what we would need to do is add a, an exist, uh, another user and we will add iBridge2. And we can put our name and email. And again, we would choose a password. And this will be the new master authorized receive alerts, auto detect viewer. All these should be set to yes for a master user account. Uh, and you could submit here. And now your user has been added. And as we scroll down to the bottom, we will see the two user accounts. This one is the new one, um, iBridge2. Uh, just to take note that you see that you cannot delete uh, the account that you're logged in with. So it's very important that after you add a new user ID and the password that you log in with the new user ID so that you can delete the default one. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's uh, log out here. And we'll log in with the new user ID uh, that we just created. And we will go underneath user management account. And you will see that now we could delete the original user ID by hitting delete and OK. And now, as you see, we only have one user ID. Uh, again, we'd like to thank you for choosing NAPCO uh, and iBridge Connected Home Services uh, for further support please visit us online at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you.